Hello and welcome to another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Champagne. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Owen Wignot from Siena Men's Basketball. But first, let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Siena Volleyball is headed to the MAC Tournament. The Saints, who started MAC play 2-6, won nine of their last ten league games, capped off by wins over St. Peter's and Manhattan this past weekend. Siena goes for their fifth MAC title in seven seasons this weekend at St. Peter's, and they'll face Fairfield in the tournament semifinals on Saturday. Here's head coach Garvey Pierre with his thoughts on going back to the tournament. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, when you have a team that is working hard and pushing hard, this is what you get. And in the beginning, you know, we had freshmen in our team and then making mistakes, and that's normal, you know. But they rally together and then they push together. So that's, you know, a very good feeling to have them playing like that. Next up, a date with arch rival Fairfield, the number two seed in the MAC tournament at the Anatelli Center in Jersey City, New Jersey. You excited? Yes, you know, nice memories coming back. But uh, hey, we're going there. We're going to stay focused on our game, play, you know, and push all the way to the limit. Siena is the number three seed in the tournament. The other semifinal features top seeded Niagara and fourth seeded Canisius. Swimming and diving ran its record to 8-3 on Saturday with wins over Bryant and Niagara at a tri-meet at the Siena Swim Center. Shannon Love, Amanda Podzerwinski, and Caleb Bjornberg all won two events apiece, and Love was honored with Siena's second MAC Women's Swimmer of the Week award this season. The Saints returned to the pool on December 10th against Sacred Heart. Women's basketball dropped their first two games of the 2011-2012 season, falling 62-45 to Sacred Heart and dropping an 80-70 decision to Binghamton. The Saints return to action on Saturday at the Ark, hosting Rhode Island in a game that doubles as the program's annual effort to stomp out homelessness. If you can't make it to the Ark, you can catch all the action online at SiennaAllAccess.com. And men's basketball tips off the 2011-2012 season on Wednesday night at home against Navy. Joining me now is senior swingman Owen Wignot. Owen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. With just a few hours until the season starts, how's the team coming together? Uh, good. You know, we, uh, we got really a uh, lot of young guys, and, you know, we're just excited to play. Sienna has been bitten hard by the injury bug this season. Rakeem Brookins, Davis Martins, and Trinity Verdeen are all on the shelf. What does the team need to do to minimize the impact of those losses? Uh, we're just trying to really uh, play together. Coach B has really harped. We need a team effort this year, so we really need um, big players to step up. Siena's only dressing eight scholarship players to start out this season. How important is it for the players that can play tonight to stay out of foul trouble and lengthen the amount of time they can spend on the floor? Uh, it's very, uh, very important. Um, we need all players to stay focused, and you know we can't have guys getting in, tr in foul trouble, especially with this uh, few of numbers. It seems like this year's team is going to be much more well-rounded than it had been in the past years. In past years, there have been a few defined playmakers. This year, it seems like it's going to be a little bit more of a team effort. Uh, like I said before, it has to be a team effort. You know, we need contribution from everyone, and I feel this team can do that. Tonight's game against Navy doubles as Military Appreciation Night. Anyone with a military ID will get in for free and receive special seating. Owen, how special is it to be playing in front of the men and women that serve our country? Uh, it's a great honor. My, uh, my friend from home actually just got put on active duty with the infantry. So, you know, I just, my thoughts and prayers go out to all the families that help support our country. So it's something that hits home for you, for yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. Last year, you were a supporting player behind Ryan Roster and Clarence Jackson. This year, you're expected to be one of the leaders of the Siena men's basketball team. What steps have you taken in the offseason to try and morph yourself into a better player? Uh, trying to be a bigger leader and uh, just trying to show these new guys, you know, what's right and what's not right and just, you know, try to be a focal point of this season. How have the other members of the senior class done in terms of progressing to becoming leaders, Kyle and Brandon especially? Um, they've, they've also done the same. You know, they realize, you know, we're seniors now. You know, we're the old experienced players now, and we need to show the younger guys what to do. What should fans expect from the Saints this season? Um, I'd say a younger team, um, you know, definitely, uh, you know, very aggressive, and we're going to try and get up and down the floor. Getting up and down the floor is one thing, but again, you're, you're suiting up eight scholarship players. Is there any concern there with that at all? Um, not really. We're not trying to think of it that way. We're just trying to go out and play and, you know, play Siena basketball. What are your goals for the season? Um, of course, you know, to, uh, to get back to the MAC championship, but, you know, to progress as a team. Lightning round time, Owen. Here we go. Your favorite movie. Uh, my favorite movie. I have a, I'm a big movie guy, so I'll probably go with uh, Inception. Why Inception? Uh, I don't know. I just really thought the plot was really different and was really unique, and, you know, there's not really any movie that's really like it. Favorite TV show? 
uh, TV show? I'd probably have to go with uh, Family Guy. Why Family Guy? Just a fan animated comedy? Yeah, it's, it's just a, a real funny show, and I think it's hilarious. Your biggest pet peeve? Um, biggest pet peeve, I'd have to say, um, when you hold the door for someone and they don't say thank you or vice versa. If someone's in ahead of you and they don't hold the door for you, I think that's kind of rude and just kind of strikes me the wrong way when people don't say thank you or hold it for you. It's something that just makes you go, really? Yeah. Did that really just happen? Yeah. <laughs> the funniest member of your team? Uh, I'd have to go with uh, Steven Cruz, definitely Steven Cruz. Why Steven Cruz? Uh, if you say a joke that he finds funny, he will laugh for about a half hour for it. And he won't stop. He'll start losing breath and almost like he's about to pass out, where you almost just want to laugh too because he can't stop laughing. Interesting. Yeah. Last question. <laughs> if you could have dinner with any three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Um, well, I know last year I said all the older brothers of the teammates, so I guess this year uh, I'll do uh, all the sisters, uh, Connor's sister, uh, Kyle's sister, and my sister. Wow. I don't know. I think You're going to get crucified yeah. for that when your teammates see this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's your call, not mine. We're just yeah. here to provide you an outlet to express how you feel. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank Owen Wignot for stopping by. Again, Siena Men's Basketball opens the season tonight at 7 p.m. at the Times Union Center against Navy. Come on out and help Siena honor the men and women of our armed forces on Military Appreciation Night. I'm Andrew Champagne, and I'll see you next week.